So just to kind of uh, elaborate a little bit more, um, could you provide any sort of um, use case from a user's perspective as far as um, if I were to try and like transfer funds or arbitrage opportunities, um, how is this going to be kind of beneficial uh, to users just from kind of a, a more layman's uh, perspective? Well, um, so for example, um, uh, let's just say, let, let's just imagine that um, a chain specializes, may, maybe emphasizes NFTs, um, just as one example. Um, but then you have funds sitting on, on an L2 somewhere and you just want to buy this NFT. Um, do you really want to go from one L2 back to main chain for the L1, then transfer your funds to some kind of bridge on the L1 and then have it show up on the other chain? No, what you'd like to do, presumably, is much more directly um, transact between those two L2s. And the, the, the general problem uh, on some level has already been solved um, through swapping. In, in a general swapping scenario, what you're doing is you have two liquidity pools and um, you put money in one pool and money comes out on the other side out of the other pool. And traditionally, of course, that's done inside a specific smart contract, but nothing prevents you from running liquidity pools on both sides uh, of, of an L1, L2 solution. So if you have a liquidity pool main chain side and a liquidity pool L2 side, then nothing prevents you from swapping your way on and off um, across these different chains. And that, that's just one example of um, how one is able to connect um, L2s directly and L2 to L1 without necessarily having to deal with these long exit, um, uh, these long exit periods.